stores are open, the shelves are stocked, one man gets ready for the hunt. The Prey, Funko Pops, and one Metal Elite, Buddy Murphy to be precise. Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting Wabbit Mother Now I know the Target exclusive Blacklight Marvel Pops aren't supposed to come out in June, but it's Target, and I did see some posts with people saying that they're in stores now. Those could be BS, but I had a little bit of time to go look anyway. Plus, I was on the hunt for WWE Elite Buddy Murphy, and I was honestly really surprised when I found one, and in about as good a shape as you're going to find one of these Elites in store because the packaging is a little fragile but yeah here he is buddy murphy an upcoming australian wrestler you know i really don't like the packaging on these new elites it looks pretty generic to me with just the red white and black um i think the old school elites had way better packaging um but yeah these are more detailed figures than funko pops the packaging isn't as important but you know it's still windowed it's still packaged in a way where you can keep them in box, still display them, still enjoy them. So the packaging to me does matter. But look at the really awesome detail on the belt and his shorts. This is the common version. There is a chase of this guy with the black shorts. Um, but yeah, he's a lot more expensive. But even this common one, one of the reasons I wanted to find it in store was... You know, on eBay, it's going for a pretty penny. You're, you know, you can drop 50, 60, 70 bucks just for the red shorts version. So finding this guy for $14.99, you know, successful hunt to me. I also found the ultimate edition of Brett the Hitman Heart. And what makes these ones different than the normal elites is that they have more articulation, extra set of arms hands, you know, more ring attire, heads, and they just have better paint jobs, better sculpts overall. They're about double the price. These guys are about $14.99. These guys are about $30. That's when you buy them in store, of course, because 
wrestling figures can vary in price greatly um, depending on where you get them. But yeah, this guy, 30 bucks online, expect to pay, you know, around 40 with shipping. And these ones do go up in price quite a bit. But like I said with the Buddy Murphy one, I, I wish the packaging on some of these newer ones had just more history about the wrestler. You know, just more stats, maybe uh, when exactly he wore this ring attire, stuff like that I enjoy a little bit more. Just a little bit more creativity with the packaging would be nice. So that was it for Target. Of course, you know, their pop section is pretty crappy. It seems like it's only updated every six months. And even when it is, I don't know how their pops are just always damaged. They always seem grimy. Maybe it's just my Target's. But I absolutely hate shopping for Funko Pops at Target. This right here is from Entertainment Earth. I have no idea what it is because I ordered this before I even ordered their Glow in the Dark Gambits. That's a while ago. This was misplaced with other stuff. So yeah, this is going to be a surprise to me. Now this guy barely fit in that box. Um, it did have a little bit of bubble wrap, but since it's so tight in there, that bubble wrap, hardly any protection. More than anything, it protects it from getting scratched from moving around in the box, but not really from impacts. But since this box is small, even if it gets hit, it's small enough to bounce around. So one pop sent that way isn't bad, but look how cool this Captain Universe Spider-Man looks. In the pictures, it looked like that red over the mouth part was going to be like kind of metallic or reflective. It looks like it's just solid red. Still, the contrasting colors are nice. I like the star kind of paint job on the rest of him. You know, contrasting with the white. It looks really nice. And of course, the translucent pieces around the hands are a nice touch. But yeah, I think the glams looked a little better. But... This guy still looks pretty amazing in person. Now this one is from the Funko shop. It's also from a while ago. It was misplaced in the same pile as this one. This pop did sell out. Funko shop seems to be a little bit on fire lately. Scotty's on fire. Now the first one of these I ordered was in this same box. And this crease made me a little nervous because the only part place it was damaged was right here where it looked like somebody had pushed their thumb in. Not the case this time. This is Rosa. Now, <laughs> this one is a little weird and I'm gonna take it out of the box so we can discuss. So this is Rosa from the Pops Around the World line representing Mexico. And yeah, at first, I thought it was just like a Frida Chihuahua, right? So I was like, really, man, a Frida Chihuahua? Todos me dicen el negro llorona. But it's actually a Xolo Itzquitle dog, which is those Mexican hairless Aztec dogs. Um, they're kind of ugly. This is definitely maybe the cutest version of those kind of dogs I've ever seen. Um, I'm pretty sure that it's supposed to be one of those and not a Chihuahua. Um, it is dressed in a way that the Aztecs didn't dress. Um, so to me, it's kind of like having, if they would make a pop around the world for the United States and it's a buffalo dressed up like a Southern lady. I mean, I, I understand why both of those elements are American, but do they go together? Probably not. Would I get that pop? Probably because that's really weird and I like weird things. And that's one of the reasons I bought this one. But yeah, all that said, I think the sculpting is really nice. Look at those roses. They look really good. I like the way they did the earrings, but they are pretty fragile. If you drop this pop and it lands on these earrings, they'll totally break off. Like you can see the give there um, and I'm barely pressing on them. They do look really nice and the lines on the dress are very clean. This design on like this traditional stitching on the top part of this dress looks really nice as well. Overall, I think it's a good looking pop. It's a little bit strange, the concept. 
uh, would have liked to see what the thought process was on this. And the pop around the world pops come with a cool little pin. I do like that touch and I wouldn't mind seeing more of this in the future with other pop lines. And now for the big boy, this is from ringsidecollectibles.com. That's the place to go to buy WWE Mattel Elites, but their prices are a little bit expensive. So I mostly only recommend buying things from them that are pre-orders that you think are gonna be extremely hard to find in stores and will cost you more than double the price on eBay. Or of course they're exclusives. Their exclusives are also pricey, but they tend to go up in price almost without fail. So if you need to sell them in the future, it shouldn't be too hard to do that. And the first one is Otis from Heavy Machinery. My favorite part is the championship tag team belt that's done on cardboard for Yellow County. That's actually kind of close to where I live. Really like that detail. Look at the face scan on Otis. Looks just like him and that expression totally conveys his personality. Really a great figure. I feel like this one's gonna be hard to find and definitely will go up in price. There's already been a lot of John Cena's, but I did like this one. Um, the word life John Cena, I believe this is when he came back um, during WrestleMania a few years ago. Yeah, added him in there to get a good price on the shipping. Kind of hard to get a good shot of the rings there. But yeah, John Cena. And here's the other half of Heavy Machinery. This is Tucker. He also comes with a, card with a cardboard championship belt and a set of extra hands. They made him smiling. I feel like he's usually the more serious one. I would have liked a more serious look on his face, but that's fine. I'm pretty sure they'll make another one as well. But yeah, again, lame packaging. Not enough info on the wrestlers. Would definitely like a lot more thought put into the new WW Elite packaging. And it's hard to tell with Lacey Evans how long she's actually gonna last in the WWE. I like her style of wrestling um, and I like her gimmick. And I feel like this figure as well, like the Otis is gonna be a little harder to find and will go up in price. And of course, you know, the first time in the lines, I really like those. But yeah, she came out really really good not sure if i'm gonna put the hat on her if i ever take her out of the box because i do think um all the ww elites that have hats they don't fit the heads that well it would be better if they gave you a separate head that had the hat sculpted on that would look a lot nicer because putting on these hats onto this sculpted hair just looks it looks funny a little bit about lacey evans and yeah and that is it for my ringside collectibles haul All right, guys, so it was mostly elites this time with only two Funko Pops, but they're definitely two of the most unique Pops in my collection now. Not sure how many people are familiar with this Captain Universe Spider-Man. I certainly wasn't. I bought it just because it looks cool. And Rosa is definitely a conversation starter. Let me know what you think about that, Rosa, especially if you're Mexican. Let me know what you think they should do for a Pop Around the World USA. I imagine like a bald eagle in a revolutionary uniform is kind of a no-brainer. But I'm interested to hear what your ideas are. All right, guys, thanks for watching and take it easy.